Hello, and welcome to What's New in Anthos. In this session, we will go over exciting new additions to Anthos, which will make it even more easier for you to manage and secure your multi-cloud and hybrid applications. We have been working hard to add more features, expand reach, and simplify the experiences to make Anthos the best application modernization platform. I'm Alok Jain, and I lead product management for Anthos at Google. Joining us in this session is my colleague, Lisa Shen. Hi, everyone. My name is Lisa Shen, and I am a Google Cloud product manager. Before we dive deep, here is a quick introduction for those who are new to Anthos. Let's go back a few years. We created Kubernetes to maximize productivity of our own developers at Google, and then we open sourced it to help others achieve the same. To make Kubernetes production ready, we created Google Kubernetes Engine, or GKE as we call it, the best way to consume Kubernetes as a reliable, secure, and fully managed service. In 2019, we introduced Anthos, a managed platform designed to simplify the management of Kubernetes cluster or any public or private cloud by extending a GKE-like experience along with our best open source frameworks. Anthos extends Google engineering practices to your environment so that you can modernize your apps faster and establish operational consistency across them from a single pane of glass. It helps you minimize operational overhead as you scale your infrastructure and helps you reduce the total cost of ownership. Containerization offers a common application packaging format across different infrastructure types, and Kubernetes offers consistent APIs and control mechanisms. Anthos can be used for application deployments on your existing virtual machines or bare metal servers, or even on other public clouds like AWS and Azure besides Google Cloud. Anthos is made up of a few core components. Infrastructure management provides a reliable and efficient way to deploy and run containers and manage them across any environment. Next is application service management. It provides managed service mesh to connect, manage, and secure containers. We extend the capabilities of Anthos to run serverless applications as well. It also has a wide selection of production-ready development stacks and services. Operation management is an integrated logging and monitoring service for your containers, services, and applications. Policy management and security management are central to manage configuration and security policies across your fleet, and it helps you reduce your operational cost. At the same time, enforce security posture that's right for your applications. With that, we are now ready to jump right in and talk about new and exciting additions to Anthos. Anthos multi-cloud allows container orchestration standardization across clouds via a new managed service. With this new service, we've also added support for Anthos and Azure. Both of these are in preview with GA coming right around the corner. So now you can deploy Google Kubernetes clusters to GCP, AWS, and Azure directly from Google Cloud. You can control all cluster lifecycle operations centrally. You can review system and application logs and monitor clusters across all clouds through single pane of glass. Cluster lifecycle operations can be controlled via G Cloud API or Terraform, allowing for a completely automated workflow. As a result, you get consistent, unified, and secure cluster and container management on a cloud of your choice. In addition to centralized logging and monitoring, you benefit from our Connect Gateway, which allows for Google Cloud to be the central access point for each cluster. We'll talk more about it in a minute. After you have deployed Kubernetes Fabric in your environment, the next step is to deploy cluster level configuration, policy, and finally, application spec. Using Anthos Configuration Management Service, you can sync GKE and non-GKE cluster to a Git repo that defines the guardrails for your organization. The repo can include config maps, network policies, specific agents, and so on. Policy configurations can also be located in the repo to enforce best practices or custom rules set by your organization. For example, you can set policies to actively block non-compliant API requests or simply to audit the configuration of your clusters and report violations, such as applications without proper labels. 
configuration specs can be applied to all clusters or just a subset using cluster selector object. Any changes to the config in the repo will be absorbed automatically by the cluster. And besides GKE, Anthos supports CNCF confirmed Kubernetes clusters like AKS or EKS, giving you the option to keep your application running on your favorite Kubernetes and still take advantage of Anthos services. Next is Anthos on bare metal. It lets you deploy Kubernetes clusters directly on your own servers, giving you the best performance and flexibility options. You have direct control over application scale, security, network latency by running containerized application on GKE and benefit from Anthos components running locally. We have made a number of enhancements recently to Anthos on bare metal, such as providing container D as a default runtime, adding registry mirroring that helps you insulate from any service outages over the network and helps improve the security. We have also reduced minimum system requirement for running Anthos on bare metal by over 50% for edge use cases. Now you will only need one node with two vCPUs and only four gigabytes of memory to run Anthos on bare metal. That means more compute and more memory available for your application. It reduces the overall TCO when you have many edge locations with a small footprint. Anthos on VMware brings Google Kubernetes engine to on-premise data centers with broad support for vSphere platforms, including the latest stable release 7.0. We have rolled out a number of features on Anthos VMware this year. For example, with the cluster backup and restore feature, you can now set up admin cluster backups to perform automatically before and after cluster creation or upgrade for user and admin clusters. You can also perform an on-demand backup whenever you deem it necessary. Another feature is user cluster auto-scaling, which resizes the number of nodes in a given node pool based on demand of your workload. You don't need to manually add or remove nodes or even over-provision your node pools to guarantee availability and thereby adding to the cost. Instead, you can specify a minimum and maximum size for the node pool and the rest is taken care automatically. Last year, we announced support for Windows Server's container on GCP, which lets you take advantage for containers without porting your applications to .NET Core or rewriting them. We, we have now enabled support for Windows Server containers and Anthos for VMware in your on-prem environment. By running Windows and Linux workload side by side, you get operational consistency and efficiency. There is no need to have multiple teams specializing in different tooling or platforms to manage different workloads. Mixed workloads can be configured on a single cluster as well, giving you even more flexibility. The ability to manage policies from a central control plane further simplifies the management experience, while bin packing multiple Windows applications drives better resource utilizations, leading to infrastructure and license cost savings. We have recently made Anthos Connect Gateway generally available for our customers. It provides a single Google hosted front door allowing for customers to use their existing tooling to effortlessly access Anthos connected clusters running anywhere. It solves key pain points we have heard from many customers, deploying on-prem, at the edge, or even on other clouds. Accessing Kubernetes cluster can be a challenge, and they often resort to using jump hosts or VPNs to these clusters. Connect Gateway simplifies the connectivity challenge by using the same infrastructure that powers existing connected Anthos UIs. This service authenticates and authorizes GCP users and forwards their request to the Connect agent running in the cluster, and ultimately the cluster's Kubernetes API server. As a result, you get consistent and a secure way to use your existing Kubernetes tooling to perform common operations against any fleet registered Kubernetes cluster. A key building block for Anthos infrastructure management is our software defined networking. SDN capabilities in Anthos extend the full networking stack from layer two to layer seven, and it's built on best in class Kubernetes open source infrastructure. We have extended the capability with innovations such as node network firewalls to protect workload at infrastructure level. 
Load balancing for Kubernetes workload is bundled in by taking in solutions like Metal LB and extending it for layer four, layer seven use cases, as well as integrating BJP support into it. We also enable connectivity of workloads across hybrid environments with easy to deploy VPN solution and provide consistent observability and supportability tools. There are two important features that we have introduced in Ansos networking stack this year. Ansos Dataflow in B2 is optimized for Kubernetes networking. It is an opinionated data plane that leverages Cilium, an open source project that makes the Linux kernel Kubernetes aware using eBP app. It delivers a unified user experience for configurations, deployments, and monitoring of networking features across Google Cloud, hybrid, and even other cloud environments. It makes pods a soft class citizen of networking ecosystem for better performance and visibility. Another key feature is Anthos Networking Gateway, which provides a number of advanced networking features for hybrid and multi-cloud environments. For example, egress NAT enables you to have a deterministic IP for egress traffic with namespace and level granularity. With multi-cluster connectivity, you get direct pod reachability between environments. Well, hope you are as excited about these additions as we are, and wait, we have a lot more to talk about. I'll invite Lisa to share more exciting capabilities that we've added to Anthos. Thank you, Alok. Now let's take a look at Anthos configuration management. It enables you to automatically deploy a shared environment configurations and enforce approved security policies across Kubernetes clusters on-premises, on GKE, and in other public cloud platforms. As part of Ansos configuration management, we have recently announced a new feature available called Config Controller, a hosted service to provision and orchestrate Google Cloud resources. The service offers an API endpoint that can provision and orchestrate more than 120 Google Cloud resources, the same way it manages Kubernetes resources, with continuous monitoring and self-healing. As a host data service, you don't have to install or manage the components of the config controller or be an expert in Kubernetes resource management because Google Cloud will manage them for you. Config controller provisions infrastructure, applications, and cloud services. Config them to meet your desired intent and monitor them for the configuration jib. Config changes are as easy as a git push and can be easily integrated with your development workflows. Another exciting new feature we've introduced this year is the ACM multi-repo support. Enabling multi-repo mode lets you sync configurations from multiple repositories to the same set of clusters. An example is shown in the diagram here. The platform admin manages the centralized infrastructure for the organization and enforces policies on the cluster and on all namespaces in the org. The application developers who are responsible for managing live deployments apply configurations to applications in the namespaces they work on. The multi-repo feature decouples the config deployment lifecycle for different teams. It provides you with more autonomy and flexibility, and you get to choose where you want to place the repo and how to structure it. Microservice architectures present numerous benefits, but also introduce challenges like added complexity and the fragmentation for different workloads. Ansos Service Mesh, which is a Google fully managed service, simplifies the service delivery across the board from traffic management and mesh telemetry to securing communications between different services. We have many exciting new features rolled out in ASM this year, and all of these are Ansos value add over the Istio open source project. With the managed ASM control plan on GCP, Google is responsible for the availability, scalability, and the security of the control plan. We also have managed certificate agent on GCP and managed the proxy updates based on the release channels. Both SRE dashboard with service level objectives and the security insights dashboard are available to give you in-depth visibility into the application services. With the application security insight dashboard, you will have a 360 degree view of workload security. You get a summary of the security configuration with the workload drill down view to troubleshoot security issues. 
In addition, you can now add a Google Compute Engine VMs in managed instance groups to a service mesh. You'll get same observability, telemetry, and security capabilities as you would get from running services on Ansos GKE clusters in the mesh. Ansos Identity Service is an authentication proxy for Ansos that enables customers to authenticate their users to Ansos environment using their existing identity solutions. AIS simplifies identity management across hybrid and multi-cloud deployments by providing a common authentication abstraction layer for all the Ansos environments. As a result, you can leverage your existing identity investment with Ansos using standard identity protocols such as LDAP or OIDC, or you can consistently apply your policies across the environments. It simplifies your cross-environment workload migration. Ansos workload identity feature enables Kubernetes workload hosted on any cluster to authenticate to Google Cloud or other services in a consistent way. We have extended GKE workload identity concept to Ansos platforms on-prem and in multi-clouds. The workload identity federation feature eliminates the need for long-lived credentials and replaces them with short-lived auto-rotated credentials. It enables consistent authentication across all the clusters. The feature not only helps application developers to connect applications to essential services easier, but also helps the platform admin to maintain the governance across the clusters. On the application management side, I'm very excited that we will have Ansos Hybrid CI CD available for public preview in November this year. Built on top of the existing Google Cloud Build and Google Cloud Deploy solution, Ansos Hybrid CI CD will allow customers to build and deploy containerized applications seamlessly to hybrid and multi cloud environments using a single control plan. Hybrid, cluster, hybrid cloud on cluster CI CD is ideal for customers that are prohibited from connecting their source control or artifact repos to GCP due to organizational network or security requirements. More specifically, this will allow customers to run CI-CD workloads with their private network with simplified network configurations that don't rely upon network peering. In addition, the on-cluster CI-CD also reduces the latency for accessing local resources. Another popular tool included in the Ansos product is the Migrate for Ansos and GKE. Migrate for Ansos and GKE intelligently extracts migrates and modernizes applications to run natively on containers in GKE and Ansos clusters. It makes it easy and fast to modernize traditional applications away from virtual machines and into native containers. You can migrate VMs running on VMware, AWS, or Azure into containers managed by Ansos in real time and capitalize on increased resource utilization, unified logging and monitoring, and modern application lifecycle management tools. A recent feature that we've introduced is called a Migrate Fit Assessment Tool, which helps customers discover their inventory and assess fit for containerization. It replaces the existing lightweight discovery tool, and it runs completely disconnected from the internet. In addition, Migrate for Ansos and GKE now supports enhanced container runtime, such as Ansos Cloud Run. Cloud Run is a managed compute platform that enables you to run stateless containers that are invocable by web requests or pops up events. The enhancements let you deploy your migrated container workloads on the Cloud Run. You can learn more about Ansos via Google Cloud product website or explore our powerful multi cluster Kubernetes management features with the Ansos sample deployment tutorial. When you are ready, be sure to schedule an application assessment workshop with your Google team to begin planning your application modernization journey. Thank you for watching the show, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks, Lisa, and thank you everyone for being with us on What's New with Anthos. We hope you enjoy the rest of the Google Next 2021.